subscribe to the Danny Houston podcast, man. Okay, so but how do you because your friends with Scarface, but how do you end up because you had like a position with, with Rap a lot or, or mm-hmm. it was an official position, right? But I wasn't paid though. Because mm. I, I didn't want to take money from them. I always wanted to prove to Jay Prince and to Rap a lot my value. And I felt I would cheapen myself if I would ask for a check. I wanted to prove just how valuable I was. And one thing that Jay Prince always paid close attention to and he was always impressed by was discipline and loyalty. He was always impressed by discipline and loyalty. And I remember one time I heard him say, Quan, a real nigga's hard to find. Hmm. And he was the first man, Jay Prince was the first man to tell me that I would be successful and how it would happen. I had no clue. What, what is he telling you? For, okay, first, before we do that, when you go over there, what is your role and what are the things you bring into the table? It wasn't planned. I just happened to go to school with Scarface up the rap lot. They was, on a, they was on an interview with some source magazine. And they was jumping on rap, well, they were jumping on the ghetto boys about some of their lyrics. And so they were condemning them about their lyrics. And I just started answering the questions for him. I was just teaching. Hmm. You know, you blame the black man for this, but you don't point the white man as direct involvement. You blame the white man, but you don't blame Arnold Schwarzenegger when he'd make a movie killing everybody, that kind of thing. And so they were very impressed that I had acquired such a knowledge in the Nation of Islam. But during that time, I was still going to Q. Getting that five dollars hmm. to eat off of. When well, we see you in these videos and all that, you're still wanna, going to get exactly. That. I was, when I'm in the videos that she was looking at, I'm still getting five dollars from Quincy to eat off of. I wasn't taking money from Brad. wasn't taking money from Rap a Lot. But I was traveling with him. I was traveling with him, speaking at all the concerts. But I did not realize what God was doing for me through Jay. Jay gave me the platform. Before anybody gave me a national platform, Jay Prince gave it to me and allowed me to speak and teach at those concerts. And I'll never forget, I was sitting with him like we sitting here. And we was having dinner at his grandmother's house, him and I. And I was telling him how hard it was for me financially. And uh, I'll never forget what he told me. He said, Quan, it ain't your time yet. Hmm. He said, Quan, it ain't your time yet. But keep doing what you're doing, and your time will come. He said, pressure busts pipes. Mm. Keep applying pressure, and brother, you'll be rich one day. I didn't necessarily believe what he said, but I felt what he said. I felt it. Man, it wasn't two years after that. I'm now administrative assistant to a state, a sitting state elected official. Which is crazy because just a few years ago you were selling crack, you know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> like, and that's when I learned the real game. Hmm. I learned the real game then in politics. Then that's when I realized just how ignorant we had been played in the streets. We had been convinced in the streets that the dope game was the real hustle. That wasn't a real hustle, brother. Danny Houston. Danny Houston.